Havoc Rover, probably the character you should really, really be investing in, especially if you don't really have like a main DPS that you really are getting for yet in the game. She has incredible scaling uh, with her skills. So like her resonance liberation makes her do really big nuke damage. It is incredible. Like there isn't really a character in the game that has a nuke that scales like that percentage. 1,113 is insane. Uh, but if you do are, are building her, the way you want to really focus on is Forte Circuit and Resonance liberation with and then also prioritizing her middle line over here these two things are really good havoc damage bonus really good scaling and this gives her more energy so it really is helpful now once you're kind of built there you're kind of maxed out and you're kind of deciding on what you want to do for these things get the havoc damage you don't really want to prioritize an attack percentage increase because you're already just getting a lot of attack in general from other things uh, but havoc damage bonus is always really good because you are at most only going to have two echoes that give havoc damage bonus and then her internal skills. So level these up ASAP. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make me go broke. That's so expensive. That's another thing. Um, these attacks for the amount to, for how much they cost, not really worth it till like the very end. TBH. I'll even say that havoc damage, especially if you're very free to play and very conservative, this might not. It, it, it's definitely better to like level these up. And as you can see, this is still cheaper than this. So just pay attention to your credits. I myself though do not care. I'm going all in on the havoc. As as well as leveling this up. Guys, I'm so poor now. Look at that. I've, I've like nothing. Absolutely nothing. Shadow descends. Oof. 